What's going on everybody? I'm Thomas and welcome to Virginia Outdoors Unlimited. This afternoon it is St. Patrick's Day and I am finally down here at the Millet Pond again. It's actually the first time I've been down here since the last update. And this afternoon I'm going to be hoping to get up a couple wood duck boxes out here. I got two wood duck boxes and finally got the go ahead from the farmer to put them up here. So that's the plan this afternoon. I'm uh, just kind of down here checking the water levels right now, seeing if there was any birds on the pond. Unfortunately, no birds, no feathers even, which is kind of surprising. But uh, I think I'm just going to put one box at one end of the pond down here, kind of to the right of the blind, and then I'm going to put the other one back in the other cove around the other side of the pond. This is a pretty small pond at only three acres, so I'm going to try and get them separated as much as possible so that hopefully no nest dumping occurs. I got all the stuff for the wood duck boxes over in my truck, so we'll head over there and uh, get cracking. Here's the two wood duck boxes. As you all can see, these are pretty much done. They just have a couple things left to do to them. Um, I actually made these boxes about two or three years ago now or put them together for the most part. Um, I did a project where I was putting up some wood duck boxes and these were just kind of the leftover scrap ones where the wood didn't really fit together that well. But uh, finally got, got around to putting them, putting the fine, fin, finishing touches on them for the most part. I got the front put on the other day. Thank you to my buddy Andy for helping me out with some of that. And uh, so I just have a couple, a couple things left to do these boxes. I'll actually go ahead and show you all a little bit closer here. So you can see my door right here is actually on the front. So first thing I need to do is put a little latch under here just to keep that closed once I put the boxes up. Um, then the other couple things I need to do is I'm just gonna put a quick spray layer of spray paint on both boxes. These are both made out of untreated plywood. So um, just try to give them a little bit of protect protection from the elements. And then lastly, I'm gonna put some chicken wire right here along the inside of that um, front piece. Just using some regular brown Rust-Oleum. From what I read, you wanna try and use a natural or earth tone if you are gonna spray paint or just paint your wood duck boxes. So. Just give them a pretty gentle layer. Got both boxes spray painted now. Didn't even take me one can of spray paint and uh, went ahead and left the insides unpainted because you want to have that contrast where the birds can identify that there's a hole. Um, Got to let these dry probably for about 30, 15 to 30 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and get the post driven while I wait for these to dry. And yeah, hopefully I'm able to get these things stuck in the mud without uh, too much issue. Yeah, I'd say that's good. I just finished getting those posts put in. That first one went in super easy. I knew right where a mucky spot was on that side, but then the one over by the blind took me forever to get set because I just could not find a spot that was soft enough. But eventually I found one and got that got both of them stuck in now. What I'm about to do is just put a small piece of chicken wire right here along the inside of that door. That's just to allow the chicks to climb up once they hatch out. I'm just going to affix them to the uh, to the front here with some small little screws. And yeah, hopefully uh, this works. I don't see why it shouldn't. All right, now that the chicken wire is on there, got it attached with four screws, it's holding good. I'm going to go ahead and just put one of these gate latches on there. It's just a little hook and eye. I think I'm going to put the eyelet into the door here and then put the hook on the bottom. All right, good deal. Do this to the other one and then go ahead and hang them. All right, boxes are ready to go up now. Got the jet sled with both the boxes and my drill and the wood shavings. All I got to do is go ahead and put four screws in each box. I'm going to put the boxes on the post and then fill them up with about three, four inches um, of wood shavings. That's what the wood ducks like to nest on. I think I forgot to mention when I was putting up the first box, but I'm using three inch screws, putting two in the top, two in the bottom and uh, seems to be holding them pretty well. And then I'm just using, I don't know, I think it's like some rabbit bedding, but I'm pretty sure it's the same stuff that you're supposed to use for wood duck boxes. Post keeps on moving on me here. I don't know how I'm gonna secure this thing, but I just wanna get the box up on it right now and then I'll figure out how to get the um, post sunk.
Number two is ready to go. I'm gonna have to probably figure out something to make this um, post stay a little better. I don't know if maybe dump some quick creed in there or what, but uh, that feels good. Two wood duck boxes up. I think this one should definitely get some action. They love this little cove over here. They really like the other one too, but there's feathers all back in here. There was a bunch of smart weed in here. So must have been some birds in here somewhat recently. But uh, yeah, full full of, uh, or got enough wood shavings in there. Um, I'm sure some of y'all are wondering why I don't have predator guards on them. The reason is I couldn't find any sheet metal for the predator guards or in town. I looked all around. So I think I'm just going to order a couple offline and I'll get them put up on here in the next week or two. I know you really, you really need to have, um, or it's, it's really ideal to have the predator guards on here. So I definitely want to get them on. But that's about all I really need to do. I'll probably set up uh, a couple trail cameras. I need to go out and buy a couple because the um, ones I had out here in September got uh, flooded out. But um, yeah, get a couple trail cameras here and see if we don't get some action. But uh, light is going, so I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the truck and pack it in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys have put up some wood duck boxes before, I'd like to hear, you know, if I'm doing anything wrong, let me know. Uh, maybe just let me know how, how your experience with wood duck boxes has been. And uh, if you guys aren't already subscribed to the channel and you guys enjoy these waterfowl uh, videos, I do a lot of different waterfowl conservation sort of videos during the off season. I planted this whole pond with millet last year. So um, make sure to subscribe if you guys enjoy those type of videos. I hope everybody out there is staying safe. God bless and thanks for watching.